Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine. I'm here with a Sunday morning live stamping session for you. This morning I have two very quick and simple cards. I am featuring the Memories and More card kit flowers for every season. And I'm featuring the cards and the cards and the envelope. So you get a card pack. And the card pack comes with two sizes of cards. They are three by four and then four by six. And then you also get some cool stickers and things in the pack. And that pack can be used for card making or for memory keeping. So you would have to get the pocket pages that coordinate that go in the six by eight albums. And if you're interested in memories and more in the annual catalog, it's on pages 154 and 155. So all the products that coordinate are there on these two pages and there's two card packs there's one that is the one i'm featuring the, the flowers for every season and then there's another one from the world of good sweet that's more kind of masculine and great for travel so let's go ahead i'm also pairing it up with the timeless tulip stamp set so here's the stamp set and that's because in some of the papers, um, or some of the cards, I should say, I'm really not using the paper. There is a designer series paper, six by six, that does coordinate. But let's just take a look at the cards. So this is probably a 30 second card. So I used the bumblebee card and just jade for this one. And then here's the second one we're gonna make today with the tulip and the magenta, and then the jade. So I am going to point the camera down and we'll go ahead and get started. I hope you had a happy 4th of July. Luckily, the kind of noise stopped here about 1130 last night. There was a lot of fireworks and firecrackers going off in the neighborhood. So I was able to get a good night's sleep. Thank goodness. I was afraid they were going to be shooting them off all night. So that was good. Down. And I want to see if I can find myself live. So. So here is card number one. So pretty much one thing you need to know about these cards is that they're oversized. So the cards actually fit the card bases that are four by six. So let me show you really quick, just so I can make sure I'm in my frame. Um, there's a whole bunch of cards in the pack that are three by four. And these are great because they have spots that you can journal if you wanna use them for memory keeping or they some of them have sentiments. So you can just um, stick them in your page protectors. So those are the three by fours. There, oh, I don't have the, I can look in the catalog, but then here are the four by sixes and they actually give you sticker sheets too. Uh, this one I did not even realize was in the kit when I first got it. So I just found those today when I was playing around with this this morning. And then these are some of the four by sixes. So they're really super pretty and flowers for every season so they have some that are kind of more summer some that are more fall and some that are kind of sort of wintry and christmasy so what i am going to do is hopefully take a step back so i'm so close to it i'm feeling like i'm sitting on top of everything and then i should say before i start is I'm using items that coordinate with the ink colors. So this is the 2020, 2022 ink colors. So just to go over them again, it's Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Madness, and Misty Moonlight. I am using the Bumblebee, the Just Jade, and the Magenta today. And card number one uses the Bumblebee card base. So it comes just like this. And let me actually grab the sunflower one really quick so you can see. So the four by six cards from the packs fit right over the top. So they are a little bit oversized than from a standard card base. So for this one, all I'm going to do is take the card that was printed with the tulips and the bumblebee and the jade. 
and I'm gonna layer it onto a piece of Just Jade that's three and one eighth by four and one eighth. And of course, this is because the card is three by four. So I'm just gonna bring over my stamp. Again, I'm using a Timeless Tulip stamp set. And my this is the Just Jade ink pad, which these are pretty still new. And I'm just gonna ink up, this is literally a 30 second card and stamp right down in the middle. And then I am just gonna take some liquid glue and adhere this on. Oops, sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I think I have to go that way. Okay, so make sure I'm going the right way here. So I adhered that on, but I, I wanted to show you before I adhered it on that you don't even have to put a mat because these little dots kind of frame around. So if you did not want to put the mat and just stamp on the card, stick it on, that's perfectly fine too. I just put the mat on there for some additional interest. And I'm going to stick this on. So this could not be easier. This is, like I said, about a 30 second card. Stamp, adhere, move on, moving on. So for card number two, I just did a, some additional stamping and additional layering. So here's card number two. And I stamped, I stamped off on the tulip and the stem and then I stamped full strength on the sentiment. So let's go ahead and do our stamping. I am gonna bring over a piece of scrap paper because these stamps, oh, and I should have showed you the envelope for card number one. So these come with coordinating envelopes that are decorated with the flap and a little bit of the inside. So in the kit with the cards, you get 10, 10 card and 10 envelopes and you get two of each color so it's the five in colors that I went over and then you get two cards and two envelopes so you can make 10 cards it's it's a pretty good deal I think it's ten dollars so it'd be a dollar a card so let's bring over the pieces for card number two so I have my Just Jade card base. And what I wanted to point out earlier is you totally could take the cards and just adhere it right on with the little dot border. It would look really great. But I went ahead and layered them up with a three and one eighth by four and one eighth since the cards are three by four. So I'm gonna do my stamping first, but these are all my pieces. And I have my scrap paper here to protect my surface. So I'm going to do my tulip first and I'm stamping in magenta madness. And let me tell you, this is super bright. So what I did is I stamped off because I thought that that matched the card better. So I'm just going to stamp off and then kind of go up to one side. And then I'm done with the magenta. And I'm going to do my Just Jade and my stem and my sentiment. So for my stem, I'm going to stamp off. And then for my sentiment, I'm going to go full strength. So now you kind of see why I have scrap paper because this stem is super long. And I only want to capture like a little tiny bit of it. So I'm actually going to turn it. And... With photopolymer, you can kind of manipulate how they go on your block. Oh, and I forgot to stamp off, but that's okay. Oh, well, actually, let me do it again. The 
the perfectionist in me says, let's try it again. So I'm going to go again just so you can kind of see the different look. So even when you're live, you screw up. Okay, so there's my flower and my magenta stamped off. And now I'm going to do my stem and stamp out this time. So what I was saying is with the photopolymer, you can kind of manipulate how you put them on your block. So don't forget, stamp off. And I think I got myself turned around since I... Okay, that's a little better. And then I just have the little hello from Timeless Tulips. And I'm just going to go kind of right over here. Whoops. Ah! Okay, so I'm not doing the best stamping this morning. You can try to come over the top. That's a little better. Okay, so yeah, actually that's not bad. Let me take this out of the way and let's layer up the pieces. So I do this a lot for my card classes is that I don't want to waste my cardstock. So I cut the layering circles right from the piece that is three and one eighth by four and one eighth, three and one eighth by four and one eighth. So I'm just going to try to not put my glue too close to the edge. And I'm going to kind of go at a diagonal. I like doing this diagonal thing a lot kind of gives it a little bit of a whimsical feel and nobody's gonna know that that hole's there so don't worry about that if you take my classes either online or in person you know that I do this a lot for my classes and speaking of classes I just released my July classes so at the end of this video I'll give you a sneak peek of those in a time frame so next I am going to lay down my, this is the layering circles, and like I said, I cut this right from the inside of the cardstock. It's a great way to save on paper and save on your cardstock. And then I'm going to put the ribbon across, and this is a four and a quarter inch piece, and I just measured like the size of the card and snipped, so that's how I got that measurement. So let me bring over some mini glue dots. I'm just going to put two dots in the middle and I'm going to pop the sentiment up on dimensionals. So I got my glue dots on there. And here's my sentiment, so the bad ones on the back and I'm going to put a couple dimensionals. Just eyeball and two at the top and two at the bottom. I use a lot of dimensionals. You don't want a saggy middle. Remove the backs. And then you can cut your tails. Oh, and I did add one little of the in color enamel dots and it's just jade. So here are my in color enamel dots. I'm gonna put all the measurements and all the products I use below. So I just use my take your pick tool for that. And then when you cut your tails, here's where you end up. Whoops. So here are the two cards for today, and I'll have all the details on the products I used in the measurements below. But I also wanted to give you a quick sneak peek of my July classes, and you have until Friday, July 17th to RSVP and sign up. So I have two classes going for July. I have a sweet and simple card class, which is my standard four cards and this is card number one card number two card number three and card number four so for this class i'm using the hand-drawn blooms bundle 
and I used, I only used the designer paper in one card, this one here, but this one I used the new um, glimmer, rainbow glimmer paper, which is really pretty. So that's card class number one. And then I'm doing something kind of fun for July is I'm, my product base class is gonna be a stamp camp since it's summertime and the kids all go to camp in the summer, so why can't the adults have some fun and do a stamp camp class for July? So I have six projects, and this is a product-based class. So you're gonna get product um, as well. You're gonna get a quarter pack of designer series paper, which is the playing with patterns, and then you're gonna get two embellishments. So this is the box. It's a mini paper pumpkin box that I've decorated. And then there are five cards. So let me just give you a quick look. I use the Ridiculously Awesome Stamp Set, card number one, card number two, card number three, card number four, and card number five. So all the details are on my blog at christinestamps.blogspot.com of how to sign up for those classes. For both of them, you need to RSVP by Friday, July 17th. Uh, I hope I have that date right. I believe I do. So you can find out all those details. And right now, my plan is to offer them to go only. I am still kind of debating what to do here in Massachusetts with the everything going on with the pandemic. We're just moving to phase three tomorrow. And my husband's going to, you know, have some more medical things happening over the next week or so. So for right now, those classes are going to be to go only. If you are local <coughs> and you are interested, let me move the camera back up so I'm not talking right. I can talk to you. So if you are local and you are interested in in-person classes, I am thinking of starting up classes at the gazebo. It'll probably only be two people at a time and we'll have to wear masks and socially distance. And my gazebo is obviously outside. It's got a roof, but um, it would be weather permitting too. So if there was like a rainy day, it probably would not work out very well. So that's details on my July classes. And let me just, want two more housekeeping things and I will let you go. Um, my July host code, I will put the details below, but it's UMQ9Z. SK6 and if you place an order online and spend over $25 this month you'll get three make and takes with the Peony Garden designer series paper and then Stampin' Up! has a special offer going so you can double dip and actually one more thing after this <laughs> it's always one more thing right uh, it's bonus days right now so if you spend over $50 for tax and shipping you will earn a bonus days coupon. So earning goes between now through August 3rd, and then you can redeem the coupon between August 4th to August 31st. So that's how bonus days works. You have to spend at least $50 before tax and shipping. And then I am planning to do an online BOGO sale the weekend of July 17th, so the 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. And for that, I'm going to post all the details on the 17th of how it's going to work. So you'll be able to actually triple dip and get um, BOGO is buy one, get one free. So you'll be able to get my retired merchandise for free. And then you'll buy something from the catalog of equal value. So if you spend over 50, you'll actually be able to get 50 of my retired product. 50 from the catalog and then you'll get a bonus days coupon so that's going to be really exciting and if you're not on my mailing list make sure you pop me a message and if you're interested in in-person stamping you know two at a time in the gazebo sometime later this month um, when Mike's medical stuff is stable please pop me a message okay have a great rest of the day